Hi there, I'm Emma from Vetter Farm. Today we're going to take a quick look at one of the most common and more importantly preventable diseases in guinea pigs. That's the condition that we call scurvy. When we say scurvy, most people think pirates, but not many associate scurvy with guinea pigs. In fact, scurvy, or vitamin C deficiency, is one of the most common diseases that afflicts these great little animals. Most animals make vitamin C internally, as their bodies need it. Guinea pigs, on the other hand, are one of a handful of animals, including humans, that can't make their own vitamin C. That means when we keep these little guys as pets, we need to make sure we provide it for them in their diet. If we don't, well, that's where the dreaded scurvy raises its ugly head. So, what does scurvy actually do to guinea pigs? What does it look like? Some of the symptoms are really pretty nasty, such as reduced mobility, like loss of function of the rear legs and general weakness, behavioral changes, loss of appetite and loss of weight, eye and nose discharge, and rough and patchy coats and poor skin. Internal bleeding around skeletons and joints. Scurvy is a very painful disease and often affected animals will protest and squeal when being handled. Left untreated, scurvy will eventually kill your guinea pig. Like I said earlier, this is a common problem in pet piggies. So it becomes important to understand this disease if you own one. The good news is that preventing scurvy is a piece of cake. Including a reliable source of vitamin C in the diet will do the trick every time. It's just that simple. Here are some things you need to know about guinea pigs. All guinea pigs need vitamin C in their diet, no exceptions. But even more is needed by youngsters, pregnant and lactating sows, guinea pigs that are ill or are recovering from illness, a first aid formula with stabilised vitamin C can be really handy when dealing with sick guinea pigs. There are many different ways we can make sure our guinea pigs are getting the vitamin C that they need. Fruit and vegetables, fresh greens in particular, are a great source of vitamin C. But freshness is absolutely critical. We need to remember that vitamin C is a fragile vitamin. It is rapidly destroyed by sunlight, oxygen and moisture. We can also use a commercial pellet to provide vitamin C, but they do have a short shelf life if not made using stabilised vitamin C. For the health of your guinea pig, ensure the brand you use contains the stabilised vitamin C. If in doubt, always ask. Remember, you get what you pay for. Avoid cheap muesli mixes and old loosened pellets. With the right husbandry, care, and a diet containing plenty of stabilised vitamin C, your guinea pig will be bursting with health. Thanks for watching, and we hope you have stacks of memorable moments with your favourite piggies.